Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Razor Payment Gateway in the next years. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to give you the demo. Okay, so here we go with this one. This is our checkout page. So I do the things on the on load. Okay, so here you can see I will just add the payment API over here. Okay, so you need, I am doing the payment via UPI. Okay, this is test mode, pay now. And here you can see the payment is successful. And this is the ID. And I have logged all the information over here. You can see payment successful. And here we have the details so that you can put the details in the DB or somewhere you want to store. So this is payment ID. If I go to the dashboard, go back and do the transactions part. And here you can see that SZE and here you can see that SZE and this is the order ID QHW so here you can see that so all the details is over here and the UPI method customer details okay so everything is locked into the dashboard and we have the details so that you can save the details and in the future if you want to check that the payment is done or not that is also used for that perspective okay so this is the demo that for your uh, Razor Pay payment integration. Now we are going to dive into the code level to check how we are going to build that one. Okay. <coughs> so here you can see that this is the Razor payment.js file where we are using the use effect and the is yours. In the use effect, we are just appending the checkout razorpay.com v1 checkout.js file. Okay, so it's, so this is for just adding this script into your script tag okay if i go and check this one on the initialization it will load okay after this we are just calling the fetch order part okay fetch order details for the api section okay so here we are calling the api to get the order id in the response data okay after this we have to go with the initiate payment <coughs> okay so here we have an initiate payment load the script okay then fetch order details in the order details dot order id we get the order id okay if i go and check over here in the network i think if it is not loaded then we have the api okay so here you can see that the create order response we have the order id right here you can see that so we have we are using this order id to, do, to open that one so here we require the key id amount currency you can send it in the uh, api also the key the amount the currency everything you can send it from the API also okay so this is this is the options that we require and this is the handler you can uh, handle the payment success or the failure according to it okay next we have prefill which information you want to get it prefill like the name email or the content if there is not con uh, if, if you're not going to do the prefill that means you have to create a form and you have to then you have to go with opening the browser payment gateway okay so this is important for the prefill then we have a new window so open the window okay so then we have to open the pop-up for that one if it is issue then it will say uh, it will say that payment initialization error if the something goes wrong the api is not hitting or something it will go to that the, there is a payment initial initiation error okay if everything is goes well okay so here you can see that in the uh, use effect okay here you can see all the code is wrapped in the use effect okay and after that handle payment success it will log the response so here you can just handle the success payment redirect to the success page update the ui or something <coughs> okay <coughs> any placeholder content that you want to add you can add over here okay so this is the code for opening the pop-up and do the process of the payment now we are calling this raza payment.js file into your pages.js file so here you can see that checkout so here we are sending that order details or the customer details by default if it is not there so we are not going to block in the code okay so here we can see that we are using the razor payment uh, component over here and we are sending the details right so this is how we uh, this is the next js code for the <coughs> uh, doing the payment gateway part okay next we have the payment.js file for the node.js backend okay so let's go and check that part also <coughs> so here we require the express razor pay course okay 
and here we require the key id and the key secret so this is important to get the key id and the key secret how to get it go to your dashboard of the razor pay and go to the account settings and here we have the api keys and so here we have you can see that the key id is there right so if you want to generate the new key you can just regenerate you will get the api keys of the secret and the key id okay next we move to the next part that is create order so here we are amount currency and the receipt okay so amount always in pasa over here order so another pay dot orders create you have to create the order it will return you the order id and if you want to send the customer details customer info you can send and get it data into the next js app okay then this one if you want to handle the success or the cancel you can do that part also okay so currently i'm using the create order part okay so this is how <coughs> we can do the integration with the next js and the node js any doubt any query do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day